Russian hypersonic surface-to-air missile-slash-anti-ballistic missile system, replacing the A-135 missile system. In 2022 Russia has put its S-500 air defense system into mass production. In October 2022, the first S-500 brigade went on combat duty as part of the 15th Special Purpose Army of the Russian Aerospace Forces. One of the key features of the S-500 air defense system should be considered a narrow specialization of guidance and detection tools. In this system, the separation method is technically applied, when one locator works for targets flying at maximum altitudes, and the other for those that fly near the ground, up to 30 kilometers. In addition to ballistic and intercontinental missiles, Prometheus is able to effectively intercept Generation 5 and 5 Plus stealth fighters, strategic bombers of all generations, as well as a wax aircraft. The S-500 is a fully automated system, combat work, target detection, and tracking, missile selection for use is carried out, in fact, without the participation of the operator. His task is only to confirm the launch. S-500 is able to work on targets in near space. This is an anti-satellite weapon. The radar complex reportedly allows the S-500 to detect ballistic targets at up to 2,000 km and airborne targets at up to 800 km. In June 2021, Russian media reported that the S-500 would be equipped with interceptors against hypersonic weapons. This system has brief reaction time. It has been reported that the S-500 can launch missiles within 10 minutes. Also, it can be considered as a survivable system, as after launching its missiles it can redeploy fast. Missiles are not sensitive to external interference, as they are equipped with their own electronic warfare system, which neutralizes enemy anti-radar missiles. The system has the technical potential necessary for the formation of a single information network with the air defense and missile defense systems already in service. In other words, Prometheus is able to effectively perform the functions of a combat control system that automatically distributes detected targets between air defense elements. The S-500 Prometheus anti-aircraft missile system includes Point of combat control Early warning radar Anti-aircraft unit, consisting of a command post, radar launcher, and 40 N6M missiles Anti-missile unit, which includes A combat control center, a radar with an active phased array, a launcher, and 77 N6N1 and 77 N6N anti-missiles The 40N6M is an extended range variant of the 40N6 long range surface to air missile developed to support the S500 long range air defense and upgraded variants of the S400 missile system. The 40N6M missile has a maximum range of 310 nautical miles, 575 kilometers. The missile flies at very high altitude at hypersonic speeds of Mach 9. The 40N6M can engage targets flying up to Mach 15.6 at altitudes of up to 155 nautical miles, 290 kilometers, such as satellites and hypersonic aircraft and missiles. 77N6 anti-missiles will fly at hypersonic speeds of 5 to 7 kilometers per second. 77N6 fitted with a hit to kill, conventional, or small tactical nuclear warhead. Combat radius of S-500 is 60 km. Combat radius is the maximum distance a vehicle can travel away from its base along a given course with normal load and return without refueling, allowing for all safety and operating factors. Like the American THAAD system, High Altitude Zone Defense System, which is also an anti-missile ballistic weapon, K-1 
kinetic energy will be used in the S-500 anti-missile 77N6N and 77N6. That is, the missile will hit the target upon physical contact with it, and not through a high explosive fragmentation warhead. The 77N6 anti-missiles will fly at hypersonic speeds of 5 to 7 km per second, which will allow them to intercept enemy supersonic cruise missiles. One of the competitors of the S-500 is the American Mobile Anti-Ballistic Missile Complex THAAD. S-500 and THAAD, which is better? THAAD is only capable of atmospheric interception of medium-range missiles, while the S-500 is a multifunctional system. The THAAD complex is intended only for solving missile defense problems. The S-500 carries out not only air defense, but also missile defense, intercepting hypersonic missiles. THAAD has only one type of missile, designed to hit both ballistic and aerodynamic targets. Being omnivorous leads to a deterioration in quality. A small target, such as a WMD tactical missile, can be shot down by an American anti-missile with a probability of only 15%. The S-500 uses three types of missiles, one for each type of target. The largest has an interception range of 600 km. The maximum reach of the THAAD system of the is only 200 km. The American AFAR radar does not see beyond 1,000 km, and the S-500 has two radars with guaranteed detection of any intruder at a distance of up to 2,000 km. Another surprise is that THAAD does not have as its own electronic warfare system for neutralizing anti-radar missiles, while the missiles of S-500 complex received electronic warfare suppression equipment. The THAAD system is not capable of destroying satellites. The developer of this project, from the start, meant close interaction between the S-500 Prometheus and the long-range and medium-range air defense systems currently in service, the S-300 favorite, the S-400 Triumph and the A-135 Amur. For a better understanding of what all Russian air defense is like, the image of a Russian nesting doll is suitable. The largest is the S-500. Her younger brothers and sisters are hidden inside, S-400, S-300 VM Anti-2500, Pantsir S-1, Buk M-3, and others. Air defense systems such as the S-500 can be easily destroyed by modern attack drones. To avoid this, the complex will be used only under the cover of anti-aircraft missile systems Pantsir SM. The development of analogs of the S-500 in the West is in the initial stage. Similar systems may appear no earlier than in 15 to 20 years.